Okay, hi everyone. So now we're going to look at how to solve integrals with infinite discontinuities. Okay, so there are three cases. The first one, if, I, if I'm plotting this graph here. So let's say this is our um, A limit. And let's say we have something like this. Okay, this is my B. This is the... Um, y equals to f of x okay so what we can see here what we can see here yeah the f is continuous only from this interval a uh, sorry a b so a and this continuity is at b it's only at here and here let's say so it's only continuous at this interval okay so how to solve this so let's say you're given an integral from a to b fx dx so um, to solve this you got to find the limit t approach b from the left side a to t fx dx so this is how you find this is the first case here now to solve the uh, second one second one occurs when you are given the plot let's say from b to a here and this is my a this is the b here okay so the limit now continuous from a to b including b but not including a so how to find the integral for this type for this case so that means you're going to find integrate from a to b fx dx so limit t approach a from my right okay this is from my left this is from my right where from t to b fx dx okay this is from my right as uh, so from my left okay so approaching from here it's from a to t this is from my uh right from b to a which is a is uh we don't know that okay so the limit will be um, exist is, is you get a finite number. Now the third case here will be something like this. You have a function from A to B, let's say with a point C here. So the discontinuities occurs at C. So maybe something like this. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so these are the part, but this continuity occurs at C here. Okay, let me just tell you here fx. fx has a discontinuity at x equals to C. Okay, so you're given an interval from A to B fx dx equals to from a to c fx dx plus integral from c to b fx dx okay now the same uh, condition occurs to determine convergent or divergent okay so the improper integral So when you say that uh, the pumper integral, let's say from a to b fx dx is called convergent. Convergent. If the limit exists, you meaning you obtain a finite number for the limit and divergent 
divergent if the limit does not exist. So this is a very important uh, note that you, we have to know. Okay, so let me just highlight it. So it's called convergent if the limit exists or you get a finite number. Okay, and the limit is divergent if the limit does not exist. So we need to take note of that. So, so this is how you find the um, function of an integral, given integral, when you have discontinuity. So let me just recall it here. Here the discontinuity occurs at B. Okay, so you integrate from A to B. And you have to use the definition given here. In this case, the discontinuity occurs at um, B here. Okay, occurs at B. So this is a definition you have to use. And for this case, if you have a discontinuity occurs at C. Okay, so um, if this happened, this is the formula you use. Okay, so by saying that now, we can look into some example. Okay, let's look at example here. Okay, let's look at the first example. Now, the first example here um, is given uh, something like this. Okay, so determine if the following integral 1 over 3 minus x dx convergent or divergent. Okay, so we want to determine whether it's convergent or divergent. You need to solve this integral. Okay, by solving this, you can know whether it's converged or diverged. Now, the discontinuity occurs. Look at this. This continuity occurs at x equals to 3. Why is that? Because when, when x is 3 here, 3 minus 3 will be 0. Anything divided by 0, you won't get the limit. So that is a discontinuity occurs at x equals to 3. Now, which case does this look like? Is it case A, B, or C? It looks like an A to me, right? This is a case A. Okay, case A. So what do you want to do? You want to apply the limit from T approach B, which is 3. Okay, you have A, B. A is 0, B is 3. So, let's write it down based on the definition. So, limit from A to B, dx over square root 3 minus x. So, take note. Um, I want you to remember uh, to compare and see. So, this is my A, this is my B. Okay, it's very important. So the definitions say that it means that you're applying limit t approach b, okay, which is uh, 3 from the uh, left or right? t from my left, right? From my left. Okay, and then integrate from 0 to t dx over square root 3 minus x dx. So this is the integral that we need to solve. Okay, so now you got to solve this integral. Now uh, look at this notation here. So we got to integrate like uh, earlier on, we already solved this, right? I think I've given in the... Um, uh, earliest example here, this one, is a similar case, similar case to what we have obtained. So you will get uh, the integration minus 2, 3 minus x half. So the same concept to solve that, 
So let me T approach three from my uh, left hand side. Zero to T. Uh, you can just write it three minus x half dx. Now integrate this term here. Okay, integrate um three minus x half. So I will have three minus x minus uh, one over two plus uh, plus one, right? So uh, sorry, I have a negative here because I, it's in my denominator. So in my denominator, I'm bringing it up will be uh, negative. Okay, so it's one over. Okay, now you will have plus one, which is half over half, and then uh, I have negative one here from the x. Okay. So this is from zero to t. Now apply the um, limit when x equals to t and x equals to zero. Okay, so write it properly here. I have negative two, three minus x half zero to t. So which means uh, limit t approach 3 from my left hand side so when this is when x equals to t minus negative 2 gotta be careful 3 minus when x is 0 okay so this is a a big um solution that you need to simplify so this term here will be square root 3, so positive. So I have minus 2, 3 minus t half plus 2 square root 3, right? Now obviously t minus 3 is a square root. Now when t approach 3 from my left, so what happened here? This part here will be so 0, right? 3 minus 3 is 0. This part here is 0. That will leave you with 2 square root 3. Now, this is a finite number. Finite number. Right? You get a finite number. So, therefore, it convergent. The limit, the limit, the following integral is convergent. Okay? It's convergent. It's not divergent unless you get um, infinite solution then you say it diverges okay now let's look at another another example if we can the second example i hope it's much easier so the second example is given by this 2 to 5 1 over square root x minus 2 dx okay now to solve this what we got to do we are look at um Discontinuous, I put a note here. Discontinue discontinuity occurs at x equals to 2. So, so when the x is 2, the integral discontinuous, right? Get 1 over by 0. You cannot. Uh, divide by zero so you're going to use case three in this case case three means you have a limit this is the third case that you look at somewhere in between okay two so is it this one or it's more like this one i think it's more like case um case b here right it's more like case B here. So because the discontinuity occurs as A is 2. Okay, so let's look at case number 2 here. Now we're going to solve this for case equals for case. Okay, so we're going to use case 2 to solve this. So let's solve this integral. Integral from 2 to 5. Uh, I'm going to write it like this. x minus 2 negative half dx. To solve this simply means... Limit, limit. This is uh, you're looking at the case two. When case two means we're gonna look at t approach a, which is this is my a, right? So this is my a, this is my b. 
So approach A from the right side. Okay, positive here. T two five. X minus two negative half dx. Okay, so you're using at uh, the second case, case number two. So if you if you're not too sure, what is case number two? See, look at here. This continuity occurs at x equals to two. So which is my a here, right? My limit at a. So if you look at the definition for case two here, case two here. This is the case two. My discontinuity occurs at a. See, this is what I'm saying about a. So this, this is the definition you use when your discontinuity happens at the um, interval a. So you will have limit t approach a from my right, positive, t to b. This is my b here. So the given b limit is 5. a is 2. Okay, so the B is 5. Okay, now to solve this is um, similar to what we have done earlier on. So it's not that complicated. So we have to integrate this, okay? So integrate this will give you um, X minus 2 half over half. Now integrate X is 1 from T to 5. Okay, now... Um, Let's just simplify this. Simplify this. Okay, so this will give you limit. T approach 2 positive here. So I have 2 when T is 5. I mean when X is 5. Minus when X is T. So half here at your denominator, when you bring it up, will be 2. Okay, now simplify this. 5 minus 2 is 3, right? Limit t approach 2. So I have 3 half, square root of 3, minus... Uh, there's nothing to simplify here. Now you got to apply the limit. You got to apply the limit here. Okay, when t is 2, what happened here? This term blows out. I mean, not blows out. This term will turn 2 minus 2 is 0. That will leave you with 2 square root 3. Now you have a finite number. Because you have a finite number, the improper integral convergent. Okay, we say that it convergent. Okay, because you get a finite number. Okay, so uh, what is the homework? Okay, let's give you a homework before we look at more example. The first homework here is where you need to submit to me. Homework 1. Okay, determine. Whether the integral given from 1 to infinity dx over x squared exponent x converges or diverges. That's the first homework. Okay, so let me just give you a hint to determine whether the limit converges or diverges. You need to solve this. Decide which, whether, um, is there any discontinuity happens here. Okay, if the discontinuity happens, then you have to decide uh, which definition of the improper integral you want to use. And then you solve it. Okay, now let's. Uh, back to, um, I'll give you another example. Okay, so this is the another example here. Example. Okay, so 
determine if the following integral is convergent or divergent. Okay, so this one example is given from minus 2 to 3, 1 over x cubed dx. Okay, let's solve this now for the event. So, identify whether there is any discontinuity occurs. You can see that this con t new t uh, start right here occurs when x equals to zero right one divided by zero you cannot divide by zero so this quantity occurs at x equals to zero so if this is my uh, a this is my b here a and b somewhere c equals to zero where discontinuity occurs so you can easily see that this is the third case that we can apply your integral this one this is the case here okay this is the case given here so somewhere in between a and b discontinuity occurs so this is the case c so i have to use this definition this, this definition so i have to integrate from um negative 2 to 0 and then from 0 to 3 okay so given by the limit now you can solve it so it's, once you understand uh, where the discontinuity occurs you should be able to solve this okay so by the definition so let's write it down minus 2 to 3 1 over x cubed dx i can write it as limit limit uh okay so okay let's let's split this first before you apply the limit i want to sli split this first into two integral right so i can write it from uh minus 2 to 0 1 over x cube dx plus from 0 to 3 okay uh, 1 over x cubed dx. Okay, so look at here. This is back to your second case. This is back to your third case, right? So to solve this integral, I have limit. Limit. Obviously, discontinuity occurs at um, x equals to b, right? b here. This is my b, right? This is my a now. So this quantity occurs at x equals to b. So it will be limit t approach b to the left. Uh, b is 0. Okay, my b is 0. So just change it 0. And then this is from a, which is minus 2 to t, 1 over x cubed dx. Plus, now for this case, discontinuity occurs at A, right? So, limit T approach 0 from the right, T to B, what is my B? 3, okay, 1 over X3 dx. So, is it difficult for you to understand this case here? Okay, so what, what happened? What did I do here? So, first you identify where the discontinuity happened on the main given question. You know that it happened at x equals to 0. x equals to 0 is in this interval from A to B, right? It's somewhere here. C equals 0. Then you, uh, by the definition of the integral, so negative 2 to 3 can be split into 2. Negative 2 to 0 plus 0 to 3. Now look at this in this um, integral here. Once you split it out, you say that this continuity occurs when x when b is zero. Look at it. This is my b, right? This is my b. B is zero. So b is zero means this is the um, the first case. 
first case given. The first case given here, if you look at it, where's the first case? I need to show this all the time. Here, this is my B. This is where this continuity happens at B. Okay, so what happened? You will have T approach B to the left limit from A to T. So A is minus 2 to uh, T. That's what I've written here. Okay. Okay, that's what I've written. Minus 2 to T, okay? And similarly, for the second one, it's happened when uh, T... This continuity occurs when 0, which is on the A interval, A limit now, right? So when A interval, that means I have to apply 0 from my right-hand side, positive, so T to 3. Okay, now all you got to do is solve this integral. Okay, so integrate, um, so I'm going to just write it down, limit T approach 0. On the left hand side so what happened here integrate x minus 3 here so what do you get um i can write it as, as x negative 3 right so i'll have um okay just write it down x negative 3 dx okay and then what happened next plus limit t approach 0 positive x minus 3 dx so you don't even have to do the bracket doesn't matter okay now oh yeah i forgot that my integral from t to 3 now you can integrate this okay so start from here now now we apply when x is t so i have limit t approach 0 to the left side so i have t minus 2 over minus 2 minus when x is minus 2 minus 2 squared over negative 2 and then plus limit t approach 0 to the right hand side when x is 3 i have 3 negative squared over negative 2 minus when x is t t negative 2 over negative 2 now just look at this part here okay before we even considering the second part we look this look like um when t approaches 0 to the left okay not quite 0 but 0 to the left for instance um 0. 0, 0.01 or 0, 0.0 uh, negative 0, 0.01 negative 0, 0.001 I mean close to 0 right anything close to 0 these terms here blows up okay these terms here diverges you get you will get um, negative infinity here so because this terms blows up similarly for this term here this term is also blows up you will have um, uh, negative this is negative infinity this is positive infinity so you can say that the integral diverges okay so the limit does it's hard to write nowadays the limit does not exist okay so there is no solution uh, for this integral because you have 10 negative infinity and infinity okay that's one example that for this in thing okay so that's all for improper integral with uh, infinite discontinuity so the next video we're going to look at uh, some comparison tests to determine whether the limit is divergent or convergent Okay, see you next time. Bye for now.